the world is suddenly seeing a huge jump in the race to build the next level airport. We have the LAX airport in the US with its crazy good expansion. Then we have Japan's Kansai airport that just took over the internet with its interesting design and innovative ways to fix the problem with the island it's built on. And finally, Dubai is building the world's largest airport, which is going to change everything. The current biggest airport in the world is the King Fahd International Airport in Dammam, with a total area of 192,000 acres, which is big enough to fit stadiums of people. That airport was opened in 1999. But with Dubai surpassing everyone in the dust, we see interesting innovations like five runways, 400 gates, and the ability to accommodate 260 million passengers per year. This airport costs a staggering $35 billion, and it is also known as the future of innovation. But what exactly will this airport incorporate, and how will it change the future of the aviation industry? Let's find out. If you enjoy more Mega Projects related videos, consider subscribing to our channel and ringing the bell icon. To understand the new innovations being incorporated and the terminals being built, we must take a trip down memory lane to understand the importance of the Al Maktoum International Airport. The Al Maktoum International Airport, also known as Dubai World Central, is an interesting aviation and logistics hub in Jebel Ali, Dubai, and it is one of the biggest projects Dubai has ever seen. Envisioned to accommodate the growing demand for air travel and position Dubai as a central player in global aviation, Al Maktoum International was designed to be one of the largest and most advanced airports in the world. The airport's master plan is one of the biggest we've ever seen. It aims to eventually serve 200 million passengers annually and support Dubai's goals of becoming an international trade and tourism nexus. The Al Maktoum International Airport opened in 2010 for cargo operations, and it reflects Dubai's forward-thinking approach to infrastructure and capacity to host large-scale projects. However, there's a huge problem that this airport solves. As the city's existing airport, Dubai International Airport, nears capacity, Al Maktoum International is poised to carry the torch, offering additional capacity, state-of-the-art facilities, and a new era in aviation connectivity. And thanks to its new terminals being built, there's a lot more to cover, which is what today's video is all about. But first, let's talk about why the Al Maktoum Airport's construction was actually necessary. Internationally, the Dubai Airport sees an average of 90 million passengers, and just in 2023, over 86.9 million passed through the airport. Dubai International Airport has long been one of the world's busiest airports, primarily due to the vast number of international flights it handles daily. In 2019, before the COVID-19 pandemic, DXB accommodated more than 86 million passengers, placing it among the busiest global hubs. However, with Dubai's continued growth as a business and tourism center, DXB's capacity was soon expected to be outstripped by rising passenger volumes. To address this, Dubai airports undertook the Al Maktoum International Project as a long-term solution. Another significant reason for the development of Al Maktoum International is Dubai's strategic location. As a bridge between Europe, Asia, and Africa, Dubai stands at the crossroads of some of the world's most important air travel routes. The growth of Emirates Airlines, Dubai's flagship carrier, has driven the city's position as a layover and connection point for travelers between continents. Al Maktoum International, once fully operational, will provide a much-needed expansion of capacity to ensure Dubai can continue to serve this function on a global scale. The airport will also support other aviation-related activities, such as cargo handling, aircraft maintenance, and logistics, making it an essential pillar of Dubai's economy. In short, the Al Maktoum International Airport will alleviate some of the problems the Dubai International Airport is facing. This includes issues like global system outages, which caused a lot of damage for the DXB to be fixed, and even issues like traffic congestion and overpopulation were to be solved with the all-new Al Maktoum Airport. However, 
Developing such a huge airport in itself has been a huge challenge, which the Al Maktoum Airport doesn't really shy away from. So, in regards to the construction, it has been quite technical when it comes to the Al Maktoum Airport, but here are the details. The construction of Al Maktoum International Airport began in 2006 as part of Dubai World Central, a vast development that also includes logistics and residential zones. The airport was opened for cargo operations in June 2010, providing an essential function as Dubai's trade and logistics sector grew. This initial phase involved building the first runway and a cargo terminal with a capacity of 220,000 tons per year. By 2011, passenger operations began, marking the first step in expanding DWC beyond its cargo focus. A major milestone came in 2013, when Dubai World Central opened a passenger terminal with a capacity of 5 million passengers per year. This marked the airport's first official steps into the commercial passenger sector. Initially, only a few budget airlines operated at DWC, but it served as a secondary airport to relieve some pressure from Dubai International. The airport's long-term construction plan includes an eventual capacity of up to five runways and two passenger terminals capable of accommodating 260 million passengers annually. Dubai's vision for DWC is to create a massive aviation and logistics hub with integrated facilities to support cargo and passenger operations on a large scale. This ambitious goal requires a phased expansion, and each phase is subject to review and modification based on passenger demand and economic conditions. The airport was built at 170 feet elevation and opened in 2010, which would be around 14 years ago. However, even with such an ambitious mega project, it was full of delays. Even to this date, the airport is still in progress and many new terminals are being built. While the airport is still under construction, it was originally aimed to be finished in 2027 and is now expected to be completed in 2030. For now, the airport can handle between 160 and 260 million passengers, which will increase to even more once the new terminals are built. But then, it was April 2024 when the Emirates announced that the ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, approved the much-needed expansion of the international airport, which would cost around 128 billion AED, or 34.85 billion dollars US. Once completed, the airport will become the world's largest, roughly at least five times larger than the currently existing Dubai International Airport. With an updated capacity for up to 260 million passengers and five parallel runways with 400 aircraft gates, all Emirates and Fly Dubai operations will be transferred to the new airport by 2030. So what is the update on the construction? The new phase includes a new terminal capable of handling more than 120 million passengers per year. This phase was initially scheduled for completion in the mid-2020s, but has been delayed due to various factors, including funding adjustments and pandemic impacts. The updated timeline suggests phased construction extending through the late 2020s to meet evolving demand. To make it interesting, the new terminals will emphasize advanced technology, including automated check-ins, AI-driven security processes, and optimized baggage handling systems. This will support DWC's vision of becoming a smart airport that enhances efficiency and reduces wait times. Interestingly enough, in line with Dubai's sustainability goals, the new terminals are expected to integrate green building materials, energy-efficient lighting, and renewable energy sources. This aligns with the Emirates' broader commitment to sustainable infrastructure. But amongst a list of interesting things, we must talk about the challenges faced by the Al Maktoum International Airport. Here are some of them. Firstly, funding has been one of the biggest issues with the construction of Al Maktoum International Airport. You see, building the world's largest airport is not an easy job. Dubai's initial plans were affected heavily due to the 2008 global financial crisis, which slowed down the actual progress they were looking for. Then, the pandemic severely disrupted the aviation industry globally, causing a sharp decline in passenger numbers and reshaping industry priorities. During this period, 
Dubai Airport shifted focus to stabilize operations at Dubai International Airport. Although air travel has since rebounded, the long-term impacts of the pandemic have led to a re-evaluation of the pace and extent of DWC's expansion. It became necessary to rethink infrastructure investments and adapt to fluctuating travel trends, meaning that the airport's timeline has had to remain flexible. Lastly, the Gulf region is home to several world-class airports, including Hamad International Airport in Qatar and King Abdulaziz International Airport in Saudi Arabia, which are similarly expanding and improving their facilities. This regional competition places pressure on DWC to establish a unique value proposition to attract airlines and travelers. Despite all these challenges, the Al Maktoum Airport is not coming in slow and is actually improving with time. With its new expansion, things would certainly get innovative, and we would see the current airport turn into the world's largest airport. Now, we ask you the final question. Do you think the Al Maktoum International Airport will become the world's largest airport ever? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon for the latest mega projects related videos.